Hello everyone, welcome back to Morgan's Movie Collection. From Arrow Video comes this lovely, exciting looking double feature release. Tales from the Urban Jungle. Two films from Jules Dassin, Brute Force and The Naked City. A double bill of film noir classics is what it says on the top of the back of this box and I'm very intrigued by this. Jules Dassin is somebody that I am yet to discover. I have not even seen Rafifi which is definitely his most famous movie but that really dark and dismal looking picture of Burt Lancaster on the front of this uh, box has me even more intrigued because I'm a, I'm a fan of Burt Lancaster. I find him a, a really interesting actor, really. Such a an intimidating-looking figure, but able to bring about such introspection and, and this real softness, um, while being, at times, you know, a, a fairly ruthless actor as well in some of his roles, absolutely. But I find him... I find him a, a very, very interesting actor, I really do. And have only recently, I'd say in the last year or so, come to appreciate Burt Lancaster much more um, than, I, than I ever have done before. But let's get in to this release, um, this double bill, this double feature. Writer, director, producer and actor Jules Dassin was one of Hollywood's most remarkable talents. Between 1947 and 55, he directed a string of stylish, gritty and hard-hitting film noir classics that included Thieves Highway and Night and the City. Blacklisted in the communist witch hunts of the House on American Activities, he would continue that run with Rafifi, directed in France. Each film is a diamond-hard classic, weathering the test of time with sharp edges intact. Tales from the Urban Jungle brings together two uh, brings together the two films which started that extraordinary streak of hits in brute force Burt Lancaster is Joe Collins one of a number of convicts of convicts squeezed into cell R17 and intent on breaking out it looks like we've got a prison break movie with Burt Lancaster there um, desperate to return to his cancer-ridden wife played by Anne Blythe and to escape the clutches of sadistic warden Captain Munsey, an unforgettable performance from Hume Cronin, who enjoys a reign of terror over the inmates. Prison movies, old prison movies, very, very interesting. Um, I've watched somewhat recently in the past couple of months uh, two versions of the same story, which is The Criminal Code from 1930 and Convicted. I think it was called from, I think it was 1950 or maybe 51. Um, the first one had Walter Houston and, and Felix Holmes in it. The, uh, the, the remake of that, I suppose, had Broderick Crawford and Glenn Ford. And both were very, very interesting because old prison movies aren't necessarily, like I said, aren't necessarily a genre that I'm, I'm overly familiar with either. It's a... It's a very interesting world to get into interesting you know feelings of, of these characters what you know the desperation the the struggle really of a lot of these people um, and brute force sounds like a desperate kind of movie um, you know a fight to get out from uh, an evil warden and, and to have Burt Lancaster doing that, I think, works wonderfully well. I'm very excited to check that out. I haven't watched either of these two movies yet. Um, the Naked City, we have a blonde ex-model is murdered in her bathtub and detectives Muldoon, played by Barry Fitzgerald, and Halloran Don Taylor are assigned to the case. Their investigation leads them all over New York City from Park Avenue to the Lower East Side, reaching its thrilling climax atop the Williamsburg Bridge. Inspired by the work of infamous tabloid photographer Ouija, The Naked City was the first major Hollywood production to be shot entirely on the streets of New York, making use of more than a hundred authentic locations. I mean, what 
how interesting is that? That's ridiculously interesting. It reminds me, and maybe this just be, might be Burt Lancaster again, but it reminds me of Sweet Smell of Success from 1957, which is a wonderful noir movie. Um, Burt Lancaster, I think, playing soft ruthlessness to a perfect tee in Sweet Smell of Success, and, and Tony Curtis alongside him as a very kind of nervy, neurotic uh, press agent. It's a, it's a wonderful noir movie. We do have an episode of the main show, It's a Wonderful Podcast, getting into Sweet Smell of Success. If you are interested in checking that out, subscribe to uh, the It's a Wonderful Podcast feed on all your major podcast platforms for that show every Friday. And of course, our other shows, Morgan Hasn't Seen every Wednesday and Monday Madness on Mondays as well. Um, but... That is very interesting to me. It says both films feature stark cinematography and taught writing to uh, to land an incredible one-two punch that remains impactful to this day. It seems like these are a double feature release for a reason. You need to watch these two back to back. Not that they're not that they sound similar, but I think this uh, this box is making it sound like it's a very very worthwhile double feature. A one-two punch, as they've said there. Um, sourced from 4K restorations, we have here, um, yeah, high-definition presentation of 4K restorations, original audios, uh, of new subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing for both. Reversible sleeves on the two movies actually inside, although I have had a look and I do think we'll just be going with what they have us um originally with um featuring original and newly commissioned artwork by sister hyde um the features for brute force you have a commentary by historian and critic josh nelson you have a visual essay by film historians david cairns and fiona watson um a personal appreciation by the academy award-winning screenwriter of a history of violence who is josh olson um, Burt Lancaster, the film Noir Years, an in-depth look at Burt Lancaster's early career by Kate Buford, author of Burt Lancaster, An American Life, theatrical trailers and an image gallery. And for The Naked City, you have um, Naked City Radio, which is a commentary by David Kearns, featuring actors Stephen McNichol and Francesca Diamond. The Pulse of the City, a visual essay by uh, Eloise Ross. New York and the Naked City, a personalised history of NYC on the big screen by Amy Tobin. Jules Dassin at LACMA, a 52-minute interview with Bruce Goldstein in which Jules Dassin discusses his career. The Hollywood Ten, a 1950 documentary short on the ten filmmakers blacklisted by HUAC uh, for their refusal to name names, um, which includes... The Naked City screenwriter, Albert Maltz. Uh, a gallery of production stills by photojournalist Ouija and the theatrical trailer. What a lovely, lovely bunch of features you get there. Arrow, I do think, are wonderful with their features. They really are. Um, this, is, this is so intriguing to me. And yet more wonderful exploration of film noir for me to do. I have nothing else uh, to... Sh to tell you in terms of what these movies are about but there is the rare uh, there is the blu-ray disc itself that is the uh one side of the sleeve inside we have the disc and the other so do we want that i mean i don't hate that i really do quite like that i mean look at burt lancaster's ridiculous chest there i mean what's going on there i don't know but i don't hate that at all but I, this this really shadowy, black, almost, you know, kind of, it's almost as done on black paper. It must have been done on black paper. Um, I really love that art style. I mean, it's very bleak, it's very morbid, but does not, does, you know, doesn't that work so well with noir movies, with the attitude that these movies seems to, you know, seem to have based on what we've just been 
told on the back. Um, but do let me know in the comments which sleeve you do want. Do you want this one or that um, original poster inside, of course? Subscribe, ding your notification bells on this channel while you are at that and leave your likes. There is the Naked City, that's Barry Fitzgerald on the front there. Or we can have what is inside here, which is that, which I also don't hate. I mean, that picture of Barry Fitzgerald with his pipe is a little overpowering, I think. Um, I don't hate that either, though. I do quite like the reversible sleeves. I've got to give them credit there. I just happen to really like this very, very dark style of these um, these new, newly designed ones rather than those original posters, which is quite rare for me, really. I do often tend to go for the original posters on my reversible sleeves, but there we go. Tales from the Urban Jungle, a beautiful looking double feature released by Arrow. I can't wait to get into this. I might treat myself to this. Even this week, possibly. Who knows? Who's to say? I'm sure you'll find out if you follow me on the social medias, which uh, you can find, you know, linked down below at the Purple Dom um, on Instagram and TikTok and at the Purple Dom with a three instead of the E in the on Twitter, of course. Um, yes, there we go for another video of Morgan's Movie Collection. Tales from the Urban Jungle. Let me know if you are interested in those movies. If you have seen them, let me know what you think of them. What you think of this particular release, if you do own it, or anything like that. We'll be back with another video of Morgan's Movie Collection very, very soon. Don't deny that. Don't doubt that. Don't doubt that. I don't deny that. But don't doubt that. Until next time, I might go and explore that urban jungle and wish you all goodbye.